With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. The question is: the figure alongside shows a circle with center O. Chord ED is parallel to diameter AC. Angle CBE is equal to 65 degree. Find the angle CED. So here is a circle where angle CBE is 65 degree. AC is the diameter AC parallel to ED. We have to find the angle of CED. That means this angle. Okay. So first of all, if we consider this arc EC, we can see that EC subtends the angle EOC at the center and EBC at the remaining part of the circle. So first of all, we can write from here that angle E O C is equal to 2 into angle E B C. Why? Because E C arc, E C arc subtends, E C arc subtends angle, angle E O C, E O C at center, at center, and angle E B C, angle E B C at the remaining part of the, at the remaining, at the remaining. At the remaining part of part of circle okay okay because it's the center the angle is in the center is the same arc producing two set two angles and one is in the center and the rest uh, and the other one is in the remaining part of the circle so it will be two of the, uh, twice of the others okay so here if we put the value 2 into ebc means 2 into 65 degree it will be 130 degree okay angle e o c is 2 uh, 130 degree now if you consider the triangle EOC we can see that OC equals to OE because both of them are radius okay that means this angle and this angle will be equal so we can write that in triangle in triangle triangle EOC what we can write OC equals to OE because of their radius okay that means therefore angle OEC angle OEC is equals to angle OCE OCE okay so the total angle of the triangle will be 180 degree so we can write that therefore angle OEC plus angle OCE plus angle EOC is equal to 180 degree or from here if we put the value EOC of angle EOC it will be 130 degree so it will be angle OEC and EO, uh, OCE are same that will be we can write as 2 of angle OEC 2 of angle OEC equals to 180 degree minus the value of angle EOC will be 130 degree it is equals to 180 degree minus 130 degree it is equals to 50 degree okay so from here we can write that therefore angle OEC is equals to 25 degree okay that means this angle angle OEC OEC is 25 degree similarly angle OCE will also be 25 degree okay so we have got this angle to be 25 degree now we can see that AC parallel to ED and CE is the intersecting line that means they are alternate angles so we can say that angle OCE will be equal to angle CED okay so from here we can write that okay first of all write that therefore angle OCE is equal to 25 degree okay. so we have seen that angle OCE angle OCE is equal to 25 degree and it is given that AC parallel to AC parallel to ED it is given to us in the question okay that means we can say that therefore angle OCE will be equals to angle CED because they are alternate because they are alternate alternate angles of parallel lines alternate angles of parallel lines so the value of angle CED will be therefore angle CED will be equals to 25 degree so this is the required solution of this question. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.